Hey, can I come sit with you for a bit? Such a lovely spot that you found here by the tree. You know, you kind of remind me of a cat like that. But yeah, you always find the nicest spots to nestle in. I'm sorry I didn't come say hi sooner. I kind of got wrapped up in the kitchen. I wanted to hang out with you as soon as I saw your car pulling in the driveway. But Lori and I were peeling potatoes for the mash, and she got to telling me about our first date with this guy last weekend from Yale, I think it was. Sounds promising, right? Apparently, it was a complete disaster in a myriad of ways. You know what? I'll let her tell you about it. I'm sure it will be much more entertaining from her mouth know how she's got away with impressions, accents, and stuff. I could listen to her recount the entirety of human history. So, I took the liberty of fetching us a couple of fresh cold ones from the fridge. Would you like a cider? Such a cute little bottle. I didn't know that they came like this. I don't I'd only ever seen them in the big bottle. But I think when it comes to carbonated things, it's always nice to have an individual serving because you'll have the chance to finish it before it goes flat. Yeah, stays fizzy. So, I'm a pretty sure. No worries if not, I understand. 
understand that poems can be pretty personal. Okay, awesome. Alright. So, if you could just give me your hand. Perfect. So, we are of course going to start by turning it face up. This is actually the first year that we've gone for a fake one. I'm a little bummed about it because, I don't know, it's one of my favorite days of the holiday season. To make a day of going to the tree farm and picking one out. But this one's nice. No complaints. I like not having to wrangle and untangle 
all the lights, you know, because the fake ones, they're just already in there. Oh, did you hear that Peter has been working for the tree farm this season? I guess you wouldn't have necessarily had to hear about it. I think if you've gotten within ten feet of the guy, you would have smelled the pine needles. Definitely not a bad scent to have stuck on your clothes by any means. He's like a one-man forest. Earlier he was telling me a couple of trade secrets if you could keep it hush hush. <laughs> yeah, he was saying that when he's at work. If a customer is taking ages and ages and ages to choose between two trees and they're like holding up the line and everything, he'll pick one of them to point at and yell over to a co-worker, Hey John, if they don't pick that one, set it aside for me. Best tree I've seen all year. And apparently it never fails to make the customer immediately pick that one. Oh, so you got a real one. Oh, please, please, please tell me all about it. Paint the most vivid picture you possibly can. Let me live vicariously. Yeah, like, um, how tall is it? Seven But it was well worth it. I love it when the tree really fills up the room, touches the ceiling and everything. <laughs> what kind of ornaments have you got on there? Do you have lots of vintage ones, like handmade stuff from childhood? Or do you go for like a more modern designer look with a certain color scheme? Okay, cool. That sounds so pretty. Yeah, I love the little, like, the little glass icicles. They pick up the light so pretty. Okay, yeah. Alright, consider me officially jealous. Yeah, it sounds gorgeous. I bet it smells amazing. We've got candles in here, at least. And cooking. Cooking is smelling great. Did you see Laura brought a bunch of fun stuff to decorate a gingerbread house with? I think we're going to do it after dinner. I can't wait. I love listening to the Christmas music while gluing all the little things on there with the frosting. It's a quite meditative process. You know, do you mind if I ask what present you got for Charlie. He's always so difficult to shop for. It's always like a shot in the dark for me. <laughs> yeah, he's a real minimalist, which I definitely respect. I wish I was more like that. In the past, he's been most excited about the things that I've gotten him that are the most practical. Yeah, so... I went with socks. I know the, the cliche no-no gift, but I swear they're really nice socks. You got him toothpaste. No, that's a great idea. <laughs> I think he'll get a good laugh out of it and also genuinely love it. What about Molly? What did you get for Molly? Yes, tell me everything. A mermaid soft on the inside and then wool 
some pretty unique flavors like um beach jalapeno was one I think he always has his toast and his tea in the mornings so I hope it'll fit into his routine nicely maybe spice it up a bit you know grandma's actually working on a puzzle as we speak it's this garden scene split it if you want. Ah, oh, these are the best. Okay, let me get this opened up for us to devour. I just love the way it looks. And the gold foil. It's so fancy. Festive. Pretty blue sticker on top. Terry. more 
snacks than just this for us to break into if you're interested. If you're feeling a bit peckish, warm, fresh Christmas trees. So it's got a Ghirardelli square, dark chocolate peppermint bark, Frankie's peppermint puffs. Looks like a box of hot chocolate mix. And a cup the box of chocolates from Uncle Thomas. Isn't this so pretty? Shiny gold with these embossed red polka dots. Matching red bow. So let's see what kind of chocolates we've got. forgot I've been wanting to get everyone to sign this card for grandma and grandpa. And I've even got a pen at our disposal. Yeah, it looks perfect. Thank you so much. I think they'll really like it. They love displaying all of the holiday cards on their mantle. Alright, looks like dinner 